All right, let's see if you know them. There are seven big time prospecting mistakes that you are probably making when you're trying to prospect with prospects. And I'm gonna cover them right now in depth. I promise you wanna stay to the end, okay? Because I may have a special bonus for you at the end of the video. The number one, and I'm gonna touch on these and I'm gonna go through them in depth, right? They wanna know everything. They're not organ, you know, the organi organization. Redo, low energy, won't invest, procrastinate, and they wanna change it, right? What, what do those mean to you and how can you avoid those? Because I'm telling you, if you can eliminate these seven, you will absolutely have better prospecting habits and things happen. If you think about this, if you get one extra deal, because 92% of agents fail, if you get one extra deal per week, simply by not making mistakes, that's pretty easy, right? That's an extra 50 deals. Let's just say that you average $500 per sell. You just made an extra $25,000 in one year, simply by, and maybe more, right? I'm keeping it simple and low. And maybe you won't end up a statistic in a 92 percenter because guess what? You just made an extra 25 grand and that's on the low end, right? So the first one, a lot, every insurance agent, they feel like they got to know everything. And if you're this way, I need you to fix it. Okay. They want to know everything before they do anything. That's a massive flaw that insurance agents have is before I prospect, before I pick up the phone, it's a mistake, right? Before I pick it up, dude, I got to know everything. I got to read it all. I got to know everything. Okay. This, uh, I don't know it all yet. I can't make a call. You know, it's like, dude, that, that's a, that's not okay. You will never know everything. The sooner that you can understand that, the better, the more adaptive and flexible and coachable you are. And the fact that you can realize that I'm never going to know everything. Like when it comes to insurance, I don't know everything. There's times where people see all my videos that I don't know everything, right? But I know how to make money and how to survive in the industry. And this is a big one. You, you want to get to where you don't have to know everything to be successful. Okay, that's a big one, big flaw. Most insurance agents think, dude, I have to know everything. I'm talking everything, the whole encyclopedia of the industry, impossible before I'm actually going to make a call, before I'm going to be successful, before I'm going to do anything. Okay, the second one, I feel like I need to get organized. Let me get my desk organized. Let me get everything in the perfect spot. Okay, is that ready? Will that do well when I make calls? Now I need to rearrange it again. It's like, dude, I, it's like I'm, I'm getting ready to get ready. I'm not organized yet. You know, my script's not in the right, it's in that spot. Oh, water, water needs to be there. Okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm good, right? And they're like, look for reasons not to work. They look for reasons not to pick up the phone, right? I'm getting ready to get ready. You will never be ready if that's the case. You'll never be perfectly ready. Just pick up the phone and start dialing, right? Start prospecting, big mistake. Feel like I need to get organized. Everything in the right spot, okay? Hopefully that's not you, if it is, I warned you, okay? Because again, I want you to be a part of the 8%, not the 92. Organized. Who cares? Doesn't matter, okay? The next one is when their sales manager gives them a script. They want to redo everything, the whole system. Okay, he says I need to make 82 calls. I think if I make 28, still has an 8 and a 2, I think it'll be fine. You know, or hey, I've got this great script, and they've been using it for 37 years, and it works. I don't use that word. Let me take that out. Oh, let me put this word in. Let me, let me spend two hours. Cause I had somebody do this in my office one time. They, they give them the script, follow this, do this. I'm coachable. Cody, I'm coachable. I'll listen. I'm ready. I promise I'll do what you say. I give them the script. I tell them what to do. And guess what? They're over there retyping out the script and changing everything before they pick up the phone. If one of your agents are doing this, they will never survive. Get rid of them. If it, you're doing it yourself, man, I hope that you'll cut this out. Because again, because you're not coachable if, if you won't listen and do what someone says when they say, do this. And, and then they want to redo everything because their way is better. They've been in the industry for five minutes and their way is better than yours, right? Man, that one's just annoying, okay? The fourth one, low energy, right? Negative, whiny, complain a lot. They come in and they're like, you know, I don't know if I got it today and I did, I, I fought, fought with my wife and they bring all this drama to the office, you know, and couldn't sleep. My dog barked once and it ruined my day. And you know, my kid puked on me and, and, and you know, the pool's leaking. Jeez Louise, you know, my, my whole day's over. The week's going to suck. This probably won't be a good month because I had a good month last month. So I probably won't have a good one this month. You know, it's like, what does that even mean? Like if you had a good one this last month, you've got a better chance of having a good one this month just because, right? This is a mistake where, where when you come in or, or, or they get low energy because they let the past call where someone said, 
Cody, I hate you. Betty, do you hate me too? Like they get on the call and they're like, before they know it, they're like, man, I'm going to take that energy, that freaking sucky energy into this call. And before I know it, I'm going to have a freaking bad call after bad call after bad call because I can't get my energy right. That's why I make my team twice a day. We do jumping jacks, push-ups, whatever. I'm like, dude, we are waking the freak up. We are not letting the morning affect the afternoon and the afternoon affect the next morning and et cetera. Or, the, or you know, whatever happened before work. I'm like, dude, you walk through those doors, you change. You, you are great, ready to go. You're freaking, um, you're in a great mood. You know, you check yourself at the door, right? That's what they say, okay? So, low energy, that's a bad one. And, and if that's you and you're like, dude, my energy sucks. I'm draining people. You're draining me through the video camera right now. We, we got to cut that out. We have to absolutely cut that out. That's why I love conferences. That's why I love the CA cell system because it allows you and your team to plug in to positive content every single day to keep you from failing, okay? To keep you from failing specifically. Low energy. Nobody likes bad energy, man. It's, don't do it, okay? Don't do it. Don't let that be you. Next one, number five. Won't invest any money in themselves, you know, or when they do, if this doesn't work, I'm never investing again. Like, dude, I've got $12 for leads, you know, $12 or, 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 you know, um, I spent $36 on that cold call list. And I didn't set one appointment. That list vendor, they're garbage, man. They're horrible. Or I'm not going to put any money into this, Cody until it gives me money in return. It's never gonna give you any money until you give it some, right? You gotta, you gotta you know, put some gas in the freaking tank sometimes. You gotta fuel this rocket ship that you're on. The insurance industry is the number one career on planet Earth. It ain't the sexiest. You don't line up at career day begging to get in the industry, but 92% of insurance agents fail because it's the most difficult and there's more millionaires in it because it's freaking incredible, man. It's the absolute, I'm obsessed with it. It's an amazing career but you have to invest into it. What does that mean? That means that we look at this like it's a business. You have a business opportunity right now. And, and the last thing you wanna do is screw it up, right? I heard a statistic the other day that um, less than 4% of businesses in the country earn seven figures. Less than 4% oh, of all businesses in the US earn a million dollars a year. But there are more millionaires in this industry than any other industry in the world. If it's so tough, if most businesses fail within the first couple of years, and if it's so tough to make a million bucks, but it's but it's but it's the number one career to do it is insurance, then then you in the right you're in the right vehicle. And so remember, you've got to invest before it'll invest back. I'm telling you, I don't care what you think. You know, I'm just this is this is reality. Okay, this is reality. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to be honest with you. Procrastination. A lot of agents love to procrastinate. They, they're, they're, they're like, dude, I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm going to make a ton of money. It's going to be unbelievable. I'm going to start tomorrow. <laughs> I love it when I talk to people and they're like, man, I'm getting on this new workout plan. I'm going to get fit. <laughs> I'm getting ready. I'm starting next week. <laughs> What's wrong with starting now? What's wrong with starting tonight? You know? Like I'm doing this, I just did a half marathon and I, I, I set it up in a week and didn't train, right? Because you don't need to. Yeah, should you? Yeah, probably. But it doesn't mean that this should keep you from doing stuff, man. Like if, 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 if you making calls right now is going to help you be more successful than making the calls tomorrow or next week, then make them now. There's nothing that you can't, that, 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 that you want to do in the future that you can't do now. Right? Most people want to naturally procrastinate. Like, dude, I'm going to work so hard. Next week is my week. I'm going to get it. You know, it, dude, this, this week can be your week. If you just freaking change your mindset and just commit to making it your week. Procrastination drives me absolutely insane. It's a weak mindset. It's, 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 a, learn, it's, it's a habit. It's a learned trait that you, you've embodied over the, over the last... 32 years of your life or whatever, you know, and it, but, it, but it, that don't mean it's okay because it ain't okay. Do it now. Don't do it later. Okay. If you can do it later, you can do it now. Change it, right? Most people are like, they get into it and they want to change the system. Okay. They're like, okay, this works. This is a system. Like, okay, Cody, I made $4,800 last week. It was great. Now, 
how do I do the same thing? How do I make the same amount of money, if not more, without, without having to work as hard? They're like, Cody, I want to make, make, make the same amount of money, but I want to make no calls and I want to work half as much. It's freaking impossible. What are you talking about? You know, that's insane. They want to change the successful system that's worked for them and others and so many others in the past, and they want to change it all up. And because because they know that they've been in the minute, you know, they've been in the industry 42 seconds and they know what's best, right? They know what's best. If it works, don't change it. Okay, I want you to be successful, which is why if you're prospecting, if you're selling, if you're trying to make a bunch of bunch of money, you're never gonna know everything. Never gonna be actually organized, and, it, and it's 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 dumb anyway. You know, don't redo it. Trust it. Keep your energy up all the time. Stay positive. Invest. Don't do it later. Do it now. And don't try to change stuff. Just do stuff. All right. If you think these seven mistakes are good, you're gonna love the last video. How to present four insurance products at once in a bundle. It's right there. See you in there. Hey, who doesn't want to sell four insurance products at once? Right? You're thinking. Dude, I'm selling one policy. Why don't I just sell four right now?